Hello, one of these mac and cheese took three minutes to make. The other one, three hours. Yes, three minute mac and cheese made in my microwave versus three hour mac and cheese made in my crock pot. This is another fast versus last recipe, except this one is a little bit different. The ones I've done before, I've had slightly different changes to the recipe and not been a complete fair comparison. However, for today, all of these ingredients, including some H2O, are absolutely identical. And we'll see which one at the end, my wife, Mrs. B, ultimately prefers. You know, and I could have really gone to town on this. Obviously I've got things like chives and onion powder instead of actual onion, but you don't always get that in a mac and cheese. Of course, the basic thing in there is macaroni, cheese, and milk. That could make the most basic one, but I could have gone like parmesan and buttery, especially on the slow cooker one, but I wanna see if patience makes the difference. That is it. 500 grams of macaroni. Three teaspoons of onion powder. This is uh, 300 grams of cheddar cheese, but I've gone for a more mature uh, cheese, so it should have a stronger taste, which of course for me, ah, oh, but I wanted to try and drive it home because we could have put like crazy different cheeses in there. Of course, do that if you want. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh that's horrendous. But once that's warmed, I'll like it. And if it's warmed and then cooled, I'll like it. It's bizarre. There must be a thing. There's a thing, isn't there? To be fair, for me, the chives are gonna be more of a visual distraction for Mrs. B when she tests it at the end. I want these to look identical. In fact, actually, you guys have already seen that from the intro of the video, haven't you? Take a minute, you already know what it's gonna look like before I do. Damn, I hope it works. Hope I didn't burn it. 250 milliliters of water, and this is 750 milliliters of milk. Well, I'm gonna season it, might as well, just a teeny bit. So this video today is literally about time. Will the time make a difference? Of course, there's different times when a slow cooker would probably help you. If you're going out, you wanna come back and have a mac and cheese, or you might want that rush where you just want a mac and cheese, like now. But my personal belief, this might not be much more creamier, but I think it might be the texture, the tenderness of the pasta particularly, and the way it's all sort of fused together over that time. So, let's get it going. And in three hours time, Dong. Low heat. We should hopefully have some nice slow cooked mac and cheese. Alrighty, we are an hour in. Uh, let's just take this off. Ooh, there was hardly any uh, sort of steam coming up then. Now I don't know, I might be wrong. Oh, that does smell super cheesy though. Is this the Maillard reaction? Is that what they call it? Maillard, like in, it's French, isn't it? Because that is basically fat from the milk rising to the top, isn't it? And that was hard to actually lift it off the bottom though, to be fair, so I'm glad I did that. Right, lid back on, uh, and I'll probably see you in another hour. So meanwhile, I'm gonna probably go edit some of this video. All right, we're at the two hour stage, uh, and I have already edited right up to this point. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. Please don't be burnt on the bottom. It's not burnt on the bottom. I have to be quite delicate, because it's a bit mushy. In another hour, it could be super mushy, but I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna give it another half an hour and stir again, because I was really worried about that. But that is smelling amazing. You smell, did you smell it as you walked in? No. <laughs> Folks, I was just looking to see, oh, maybe there's a saving and an energy saving uh, with this as well. <laughs> Apparently the typical cost, this is just rough, uh, to run a microwave for three minutes is one P. So like, that's like a cent and a half in America, for example. The approximate cost to run a crock pot on low for three hours is eight pence an hour, so 24 pence. So it's actually 24 times more expensive, but you are making a vat and it could be worth it. I have been stirring this. Can you see how much that has thickened up? Look at that. <gasps> wow. The lid is going on. Let's do the three minute in a microwave. Right, so the pasta goes in. The water, two minutes, 800 watts. Oh my gosh, look, looks like a beer. Oh, it's one second left. Oh, it did boil over, whoops. At least the pasta's cooked. This might take more than three minutes now, I just better clean that up. So let's just agitate it a little bit and call it funny names. Ah! In goes those onion granules, a lot less again. But it's all about ratio, as the cool kids say. Milk, a few chives, a bit of pepper again, the cheese. So we now need to warm this through, because obviously the pasta cooking was the two minutes. 
for one minute. It's looking quite subdued. Oh no, there's a little bit of a dribble there. We've got five seconds left. All right, let's go for it, let's go for it. I've never <laughs> described food as being subdued before. Hey, subdued, microwave your Mac. Ooh. <gasps> that looks all right now. I'll just give it a little clean up. No one needs to know. All right, beautiful. So from that to this. Oh. As I put this one down, there is a clear difference there, isn't there? Um, there is one that has certainly been cloaked more. So obviously this is the crock pot one and this is our microwavey. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like the 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 crock pot one has kind of like merged it and made it much more of a thing whereas this is still quite independent okay this, this isn't up to me though it's the same ingredients it smells so good in here we've had a bit of fun we've made a little bit of a mess but whilst they're still warm let's see if mrs b can tell the difference all right mrs b ready i've decided it doesn't matter well partly because you walked in <laughs> But also because, like, does it matter? Can you actually tell? I think I might know. Really? Yeah. I think it could catch you out. Okay. okay. I think that's the quick one and that's the slow cooker. Okay. Just the way this one's more mixed in. Okay, and after tasting it, you might change your mind. So don't tell me. Okay. Mrs. B loves mac and cheese. Go okay, this one first. I don't think I actually ever had a macaroni and cheese until I met Mrs. B. <laughs> Another thing, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Our wedding ring is actually a piece of macaroni. All good? Mm. That's very nice, very right. cheesy. Hmm. I know which one I prefer. Right, okay. So you, visually, you think this one was the slow cook one? Yeah. Ugh. I'm changing my mind though. So after tasting it, what are your thoughts? Well, I prefer this one. Okay. Which one do you prefer? I actually prefer this one. Yeah. Um, and you are right. Is that the microwave That one? is the microwave <gasps> one, and that is the slow cooker one. Oh my gosh, this one's like quite, um, like, you can't taste much cheese, it's quite... It's, it's gone very like, mellowed, and like, it's softened the pasta so much that it's almost become mushy. And yeah. if I'm completely honest, I think I did it for 2 hours 45, not bang on. Gosh, if you'd have done that for 3, it would have just like... I mean, it was getting mushier and mushier. It's still nice though. Mmm. It's, the the, the flavour is milder, it's kind of more mixed and blended, it's wrapped right around the pasta, hasn't it? Mm. It's delicate. Whereas this is, is stronger and the pasta is more like al dente. Yeah, I do prefer mm. this one. It's more like- That is actually nicer, isn't it? It is nicer. That this tastes is, like mac and cheese. This is more like saucy. That's gone like quite- um, Like a room. Like flowery, mm. hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's actually broken down the pasta a little bit. As it's cooked, it's just kind of been like, oh, I'm not mac and cheese anymore. I can be whatever I want to be in here. This is great. Yeah, I do prefer this one. So, mm. the fast versus last Christmas pudding, the fast versus last chocolate chips, the first time to properly do a, exactly the same recipe. And like, that's it. There's such a difference with the time. Is it exactly, exactly the, the same? Exactly the same, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the craziness though, like I how know. the time that it's, that's had to bed in so versus different. just like, boom. And for like simplicity, if you're hungry, that comfort food nurse, and you've got a mug to hand, did you literally just put it all in the mug and put it in the microwave? And then it was yeah, you cook the pasta first and then another minute it will bring it all together. Wow. So if you have another fast versus last idea, uh, I had a couple come through, but I need some more suggestions if that's right. If you want to see more of these, do let me know down below. There was, um, there was a frittata, which was interesting, a really super slow one, but I was like, with the eggs, it was like... Oh. Yeah, it was a bit weird, but um, I would really appreciate any ideas on there. I've thought of one. What? Like, um... Spaghetti bolognese, like bolognese sauce. Oh, like a really slow cooked you can do sauce. Like slow cooked ones. And the sort the spaghetti wouldn't matter, would it? No, but I'm um, yeah. You wouldn't have to do the spaghetti. You could just do like the bolognese. Yeah. Sauce. And I think that's important. Ideally, is to keep the ingredients the same. I think mm. I think the fast versus last should be more about time. Whereas the cookies, we did like the brown butter. It was in the fridge overnight for the. the do you remember for the dough to chill and rest, yeah, and which helped the, develop the flavours? But it was a little unfair. Um, whereas this, like that is crazy. You'd think it's two different dishes. Yeah. It's two different mugs. <laughs> if you fancy supporting the channel, please consider becoming a patron. Like the lovely names on the screen right now, we have access to our patron only Discord, which I'm actually learning and quite, I'm actually addicted to Discord. It's weird. <laughs> I leave these weird voice notes and they're like, okay, Barry, just, just do your thing, all right? Cheers, guys. See you later.